Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny. I just spent the last 30 days taking Andrew Huang's music production course at learnmonthly.com and I'm making this video to share my experience. What I liked most about the class was just simply the assignments. We were assigned three projects. Those three projects were just three tracks that we had to produce from scratch. Each project required us to use a different approach and production technique. So they taught us different ways in how you can go about producing and recording your own music. Nothing. No, I'm just kidding. Mainly we learned the production stuff. The class is meant to be a complete music production course and it does do a good job of giving an overall big picture of the whole process. However, in just 30 days, you can't really expect it to go into a whole lot of detail. So you do have to do a bit of research on your own if you want to cover anything that the class doesn't go over. I learned quite a bit about myself in terms of what I need to do to get things done. Something that I really do envy from Andrew is his ability to be prolific in creating his music. That was something I really hoped to get some insight into and from this course I think I got that. But what I learned that was most valuable to me is really how much work and effort goes into the process of making music. During the course you get to see how Andrew works. He's gonna try and make his own three tracks along with you and you get to watch and observe how he goes through the process. It's almost as if you're sitting in the studio with him watching him work. And that to me was really valuable. Just being able to see what it actually takes for someone to go through the process of making music. Usually when you see videos of producers making music online, they're usually just short clips. So you often wonder how much work is actually involved in the whole process. I've heard that some producers can spend months on just a single track while some seem to just crank out beats like on a daily basis. So I've always been very curious and unsure of how much time I'm supposed to be spending on a track. But having taken this class, I've come to realize that how much time and effort you put into your tracks can really dramatically make a difference in how it turns out. The projects were really helpful in guiding you through the whole music production process. Just the thought of going into a session and hoping that you'll come out with a full track can sometimes feel really overwhelming. So these projects were broken into smaller parts. Some examples of these smaller assignments might be just going into a session and just working on a chord progression or trying to make a loop. Or it might be to just go around your environment and record some samples. Or just work on creating some synth sounds and not using the presets. Or maybe just going into a session and just focusing on only writing lyrics and music and not having to worry about how it's going to be produced in the end. That focus on just one step at a time is really helpful. And these small assignments, they have deadlines. So you want to just get it done and just turn it in. So you're not worrying about trying to make things perfect. So these projects having these small assignments with deadlines, they really help to guide you through the various stages of the music production process. The three projects also taught you three very different approaches to making music. In the first project, you're just asked to create a track completely in the box, meaning that you're only using sounds that are already included in your computer. For the second project, you're asked to try not to use any samples or synths presets and instead you're supposed to go out to your environment and record samples and try to create your own sounds and also you'll learn how to synthesize your own sounds so you get a little bit of an intro sort of to sound design and how you can create your own sounds using uh, software synthesizers and lastly with the third song which probably was the most challenging for most is that you're gonna just try to write your own song by first coming up with the music and lyrics and the chords and then you go in and try to produce a track of the song that you already had fully written beforehand. Depending on your particular production style you might not have to use all three different approaches but it's nice that you get a chance to experiment and practice all three of them. I thought all three of my tracks were f***ing amazing. Where's my Grammy? I'm kidding. I never would have guessed that I would have made the music that I made in this class. The first song started out with just a guitar sample and then I turned it into a loop and then I expanded it into a fully structured song 
and it turned out to be a really fun song. For the second song, I went out to my kitchen to record the samples, and then I wanted to experiment with a different groove, and I ended up making a cumbia beat. I synthesized a few sounds, and that one turned out to be a nice, upbeat, fun, danceable track. For the last song, which was the most challenging, is the one where you had to write your own song first, and then go in and play an instrument, and then sing to record your own vocals. I wasn't sure what type of song I was gonna write, and I would never would have guessed that I would have written what I wrote. It turned out that what I came up with was a pretty interesting story. I was pretty surprised with what happened because I've written songs before, but usually I just write songs for fun, and very rarely do I sit down to try to focus and write a song that I think is good. The song that I ended up writing, I thought was pretty cool. I thought I told a pretty interesting story in it, so I'm surprised with what I came up with. So you can say that I'm pretty happy with the result of all three of my tracks. I'll leave some samples of my three tracks at the end of this video and I'll provide links for the full songs in the video's description in case you might be interested. Having that peer group there to support you by listening to your music, leaving you comments, sharing feedback, and giving you suggestions on how to improve your track, I thought was most helpful about this class. When you really want that feedback from your peers, you're gonna want to turn your projects in on time. If you turn it in a little bit late, your peers might have moved on through the course and they might not feel the need to give you any feedback. If you don't really care for the peer feedback, then there's really no need for you to turn in your projects on time because it's not like you're going to be graded or anything. The only real reason why you would want to submit your projects on time is just so that your peers have a chance to listen to your music and give you any comments that they might have. So if you don't really make full use of the peer group, I feel like you'll be missing out on a very important aspect of this class. There were a handful of students in my peer group who gave me pretty good feedback and they were consistent in making an effort to listen to my tracks and leave me a comment and I did the same as well. It was a great experience not only to be able to get feedback from others so you can try to do things that you might not have thought of to begin with and it was also fun to give feedback and see how that might play into how your peers would change the way they produce their tracks. So it was exciting to share your music with other people because not everyone is making the same music. Even though we're all taking the same class, everyone has their own unique style and it's interesting to get a chance to hear other people's music and gain some inspiration from them. The peer group was definitely what made the class the fun experience that it was. I really like the 30 day structure and it was part of the reason why I signed up for this course. It goes by really fast, it's just one month and you're just blasting your way through it. Believe me when I say, it does go really fast. So if you enroll, be prepared to move at a very quick pace. And definitely know beforehand that you're gonna need more time than you think to finish your tracks. And although it's only 30 days, it might feel like it could have been like a whole year because you're just so focused on doing the music stuff that it feels like you've been doing it forever. So 30 days means approximately 10 days to finish each song, which I think is a fair amount of time to finish your projects. A lot of students probably felt that when they submitted their projects that they wish they had more time to do so. But I think you would have felt that way regardless. But every student has their own unique situation. Some might be struggling to find time after work to make some music. Some people might get sick. And some people might just not have the inspiration or motivation to go into a session to produce a track. Or some people are probably still new to their DAW and are just trying to figure out how things work. Or some of us just have a problem with procrastination. I would recommend this class to anyone who has some sort of a musical background and feels comfortable with their DAW but just needs to hone their production skills. If you don't have any musical background whatsoever or you don't even know what a DAW is, this class will probably be very overwhelming for you and it might be impossible for you to keep up. For those who do have a lot of musical production experience already, I would still recommend this class. You might not be getting the information you need 
but you will get something out of the experience. You might be surprised with what you can discover about your work habits and how sound your approach and workflow to making music is. Personally for me, I discovered that when I'm focused on just getting small assignments done and trying to meet a deadline, I can surprise myself with the results. I was able to make three tracks in 30 days from this course, whereas usually it might just take me 30 days to try to get one track done because I would just dwell on a single beat or scratch a whole bunch of ideas that I just didn't think were good enough. I think those who would benefit from this class the most are those who already have some musical background and a little bit of music production experience but just need to fine tune their approach and their workflow so that they can finish their tracks. So before I took this class, I watched a bunch of reviews just so that I could get an understanding of what can I expect to get from this class. Watching those reviews definitely helped me with making my decision to enroll. I sort of signed up for a class on a whim last minute and I'm so glad that I did. What I was hoping to gain from the class was to get some insight on how I can improve my productivity when it comes to making music and I also wanted to connect with other people who shared a similar passion for music as well and I got both of those things. If you're thinking of enrolling, I would advise that you watch as many reviews as you can so you have an idea of what you can expect from the class so that you won't be disappointed by things that the class might not deliver for you. For example, if you're coming into this class hoping that you'll learn the basics of music theory or basics of how to work around your DAW or you're trying to get some detailed information on mixing and mastering or if you're just simply hoping to get some kind of interaction with Andrew Huang, you're going to be really disappointed. And that's understandable. There's a lot of students and I'm sure Andrew's a busy guy. He's not going to be able to leave everyone um, comments and feedback. I do believe he does his best to give certain students feedback, but not everyone is going to get it. And as far as mixing and mastering goes, that could just be a class all in by itself. So if you're hoping to get some detailed information on mixing and mastering, you might not find that here. But if you do go into this class knowing what you can expect from it, which I believe is just the experience of just doing the thing rather than thinking about doing the thing, then you'll be quite satisfied. In hindsight, a lot of people might have felt that they could have learned a bunch of this stuff on their own, so they might not have needed the class to begin with. But I really doubt that that's true, because yes, there's a lot of information out there scattered all over the internet that you can read books, watch a bunch of videos, tutorials, but unless you actually set out time and focus on a particular task so that you can improve your production skill, all that information is not really going to be helpful for you. And if you're just taking this class to watch videos and consume information, but you don't really think that it's necessary to actually do the work, then you might not be happy with the results. Definitely if you take this class, make sure you do the work and make sure you turn in your projects and you have a great time. Thank you for watching this video and listening to my experience of the class and after having finished it, I'm now more inspired and motivated than ever to go into my DAW and make some music. So let's do this.
Just a ghost to me 